What's up everyone, Ronix with it and another tutorial and in this tutorial today I want to show you guys how to color grade uh, for melanin skin tones in Capture One Twenty One. So this is my interface of Capture One and I want to show you guys how I managed to get this interface. So basically in order to get this interface uh, you, you, sh you simply have to come right here to Window, then Workspace, then uh, you go to Migration. In order to get this uh, kind of a uh, Lightroom kind of interface like this one I am having right now. So basically this is my Capture 121 as you can see. So I'll show you guys how I'm going to be color grading this very image uh, using Capture 121 and in order to achieve those beautiful melanin skin tones for this very model. So basically what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to come uh, right down I'm going to scroll all the way down so you can see the different options we have right here like we have in Lightroom so these are the settings so I'm just going to go right down here to a uh, color balance so I'm basically going to be using the color balance and the color editor option right here so that is basically what I'm going to be using for color grading this very image so first of all I'm going to create a new field layer by just coming right here sorry about this so I'm just going to undo that so I'm going to create a new field layer so you right click and create a new field layer then after doing so I want to create that layer so that I can color grade everything on that very layer so it's like in Photoshop I just have to uh, use Ctrl J but just the difference is you just come and right click on this plus icon to uh, get creating your new field layer so you're going to come right here under skin tone right here so when you click skin tone you'll have nothing right here so you have this tool I hope you can see this tool right here so when you select it uh, when you select it sorry and come and sample from maybe uh, the mid tones so I'm going to just sample from there. So when you sample, you're going to see the range. Uh, so my sample right here contains all these colors right here from this side to this side. So it has some yellows, the oranges, and some reds in the skin tones I've just sampled. So if at all I change, you can see uh, what it is targeting. So basically, I just want to target this very area. So after doing so, I would love to come down here and I first of all activate view selected color range so you can see uh, the colors I've selected for this very image you can see I've selected uh, the skin tones in particular so I'm just going to deactivate that so this is for checking your selection uh, in the image so I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to come right back here so after I've selected that I'm going to come under the hues and I'm going to uh, play around with the hues first because I think the image uh, really had some kind of magenta so I'm just going to come and I'm going to hue it towards uh, the greens you can see when I take it overboard you can see when I turn it left it adds magentas and right uh, it adds greens into the image then after I've added the greens I'm going to come the saturation and I'm going to knock it down slightly to desaturate the image uh, because I'm basically going in for that melanin kind of look so around negative 11 will do for me then I'm going to come to the hue and I'm going to just pump it up a little bit uh, under the uniformity to blend these tones well and after doing so what I'm going to do I'm going to come under the levels and I'm going to move this in slightly and I'm going to uh, move this to add uh, some little bit of more contrast into this very image then after I've done so I'm going to come right to the clarity and, and I'm going to pump in a little bit of clarity to add more dimension or details into the image then I'm going to come all the way down yeah under this very tool so here you have the master which contains everything then the three where you have the mid tones the highlights and the shadows so if at all maybe i come under the highlights and i move this middle point you will see 
what is going to be adding into the image so you can add greens or you can add magentas or blues to the highlights so depending on the look you're going in for i'm just going to uh come and i'm just going to add a little bit of uh, greens into the image just a little bit like that yeah, i'm going to come under my shadows remember for melanin models uh usually the shadows are kind of cool so i'm just going to move this shadow pointer or option into uh, the blues so i'm just going to move it like that then after i have done so i'm going to come right uh, to my mid-tones and i'm going to uh, cool them too a little bit so i'm just going to move it towards uh, the blue so you can see when you're moving this you get this pointer to kind of guide you around so i'm just going to move it slightly towards uh, the blues so I think uh, that is fine then I feel like I still have some kind of uh, reddish tones into the image I'm going to come right down here and I'm going to uh, choose my colors so I'm going to come under the master and I'm going to uh, look for my normal slider sorry under the basic so you have to come back to the color editor and come back to the basic slider. So since I have some kind of red tones and I'm going, I'm going to kind of uh, desaturate uh, the reds from the image like that slightly. And I'm going to come and I'm going to reduce the amount of yellows in this image. Remember we are going in for that kind of melanin kind of uh, skin tones in this image. So I'm just going to uh reduce on the saturation of the yellows in this image then i'm going to come under uh, let me come under the greens because i want to play around with the green colors right here so i'm just going to come and sample the greens in the image and i'm going to uh, reduce on the saturation and i'm going to show it towards the blues like that then i'm going to come right above yeah to the basic adjustments and I'm going to cool the image a little bit because it is really looking uh, warm so I'm just going to cool it down like that then I'm going to come under the normal panel right here under my high dynamic range and I'm going to turn down the blacks like that and I'm also going to uh, reduce on my highlights then I feel like the image is kind of overexposed I'm going to come to the exposure and I'm going to uh, uh, knock it down a little bit and add a little bit of uh, contrast into the image then I feel like uh, my mid-tones are still having that kind of yellowish color I'm going to come right back down and I'm going to uh, reduce on my mid-tones so i'm going to reduce on the yellows by moving this towards uh, the blue side like that so let's see a before and after so far so when you turn this on you can see uh the before and the after before after so you can as well go on uh, playing around with these sliders to achieve the look you're going in for so you can come back right here to uh, the skin tones right here and we can still play around with this so let's come right uh, under the advanced and you're going to sample and select like that then we can now hue these ones so let's try hewing this and see what it is going to uh, give us then I'm going to knock down the saturation uh, that is too much for my liking so I feel like the image is really getting to a uh, look warm so I'm just going to undo that 
and I'm just going I'm just going to cool down the image sorry about uh, the noise I'm just going to cool it down even more like that so depending on the look you're going in for generally so I think uh, I'm okay with this image the way it is right now and if at all you feel like you're satisfied with uh, what you have gotten you can as well export your image or continue doing like some little bit of adjustments in your Photoshop so basically this is maybe some kind of quick guide for how to color grade your images and achieve those melanin skin tones in Photoshop using Capture 121 and if at all you learned something from this story don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching from this channel for the very first time i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating